Well, ladies and gentlemen, I promised I was going to make a video on this, and now I'm finally getting around to it. I'm sorry it took me so long to do it, but we're going to talk about the recent firing of a transgender uh, localizer, apparently. Somebody who is all about transing characters in their animes, and this is another example of Discotech apparently dropping somebody like this for many different reasons. And, and the reasons that he was dropped would probably not surprise you. Yeah! So the headline for this article reads, Discotech dropped lovely complex localizer after he brags about rewriting character as transgender and hating original source material. And then they says, we made it good. This show sucked. Now, this is a big problem going on in anime and manga and even some video games right now. You have people like this who are actively, and I mean actively, hating the stuff that they're working on and purposely trying to change it because unlike most people who are writing Western shows and TVs and all that stuff in movies, they are writing stuff and inserting themselves, right? With this stuff, they can't write anything. They can't touch the Eastern content and write it because it's already been written. So how do they do it? How do they insert themselves? They translate themselves into the story somehow, some way. So let's get into this article, guys, from Bounding Into Comics. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting the subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm. So it says, in the latest case of Localizer boasting over their successful bastardizing of an original Japanese work, Industry YouTuber Brendan Jello Apocalypse Blabber was recently caught bragging about his work uh, turning the English language dub of Lovely Complex into the transiest English anime dub in existence. Again, imagine trying to take an entire story and literally change it into an ideologically based driven thing in the West. It is ridiculous. And you know what? I really honestly believe that these people, these localizers, have convinced the Japanese that this is what the West wants. I, I've been saying this many, many times, and I'll keep saying it. I genuinely believe that they have convinced the Japanese that this is what the Western market wants, that we want this kind of stuff in our stories. Otherwise, I highly doubt the Japanese would even be remotely OK with doing this stuff, unless you're a company like Sega, of course, has been bought out by BlackRock. That's something different. It says the freelance localizer bragged about his work, uh, injecting his own ideology into Aya Nakahara's original story in a now deleted post shared to his personal Patreon account. Titled Marissa and I wrote an anime dub, this post in question saw a blabber reveal that not only did he and lovely complex English dub head writer Marissa Lenti not actually like the series, but also did their best job to correct what they saw as its transphobic content, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, because everything has to be transphobic. Everything has to be bigoted. Everything has to be racist. You always got to throw all these buzzwords in there because without the buzzwords, what would you have? It says, Marissa told me she was annoyed about having to localize the scripts for this show because she just had watched the show and didn't really like the characters. He recalled in kicking off his long blog post, I thought this would be a good opportunity to get some experience writing localization scripts in case I ever wanted to write a dub, so I volunteered to help out. The two of us spent many, many hours across many, many days slogging through Lovecom episodes, and while Marissa thought she sort of hated Lovecom's original writing, I came to the conclusion that I definitely hated Lovely Complex. He recalled, it turns out there were quite a few storylines that didn't make it into the anime so what's the deal what was this one of fully uh full metal alchemist situations where the original anime comes out a little too early and they don't want to spoil the manga so they make their own ending nope uh it turns out the story arcs they left out of the manga all fucking sucked he continued and frankly i respect the toei staff for deciding to cut those like the arc where an adult woman is hired to seduce otani a teenage boy or the other arc when an adult woman tries to seduce otani a teenage boy or the two other entire arcs and several prominent running gags about fucking transphobia so again, ladies and gentlemen, it's very clear that this man is an ideologically based person. This is someone who wants to uh, do his job through ideologically based means, and he will try everything he possibly can to push his own personal uh, identity politics, whatever you want to call it, into the actual stories. It's unfortunate, man, for people that not everybody can learn Japanese. OK, that's the biggest thing. If people want to enjoy Eastern content like manga and anime and they can't unfortunately read Japanese. Now, you can read the subtitles, but even the subtitles sometimes get fucked with and they don't really make quite a lot of sense. So unfortunately, they have to listen to the dub sometimes in order to get a true feel of the anime. And it gets ruined by people like this. It gets ruined by people that don't want to actually do something right by the story. In this example, this guy hated the story. He actively said that he hates the story and everything that it's based 
basically talks about. He did not like Lovely Complex at all, and yet he still worked on it. Why would you let someone like this work on translating your content? I have no idea. It says, to this end, Blabber then revealed that he and his fellow Lovecom localization team members disagreed with the series featuring a cross-dressing character, Psycho Kotobuki, as they felt the character should have been portrayed as transgender. Oh my god. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, clearly, because the character is a cross-dresser, that must mean that they're, that they're trans, right? Like, that, that those two must be synonymous. So, so you decide to completely change the background of a character from a cross-dresser to a trans person because that makes sense in your own mind. That makes sense in your ideology, and that is what's going to make sense in the Western market, I guess. I mean, really, it's not even about the market. It's about what this person wants to do with the story, and it's very clear. It says a Psycho introductory episode is about Psycho's gender identity, so it's not like we could write it out entirely entirely he claimed but we changed a lot of things to take the edge off nobuko's initial dislike of psycho was changed from i don't know i don't like her my trans radar is going off to being jealous as another cute girl on campus and not wanting to lose out to a freshman in the sub otani and reese's end of episode reactions could be generously called confused but they got the spirit about the whole thing noted blabber we rewrote those to be a lot more supportive of psycho especially otani's dialogue which made it pretty clear he was still kind of disgusted by her following this rewriting of the script blabber said the aforementioned lenti passed the episode and its script by multiple trans sensitivity readers and not only made sure to, ca to cast a trans person as psycho but also to cast as many other trans actors who audition for her as possible jesus christ man save me Chiba! jesus this, this is what this is what you call representative casting right this is what they like to call about true representative casting so because you made a character trans that means that you have to hire a trans voice actor <laughs> i mean i don't know how transness comes off in a voice so that really doesn't make any sense to me again this is just bullshit reasons to kind of force people to do representative hiring and fake diversity hiring but the fact that they, <laughs> the fact that they had to put this through multiple trans sensitivity readers look at this their script had to go through multiple trans sensitivity readers. What is that even a thing? People got hired to be a trans sensitivity reader. I mean, the amount of fake diversity jobs that are out there is such a joke. And this is definitely one of them. It says, I don't have an exact number, he added, but I think the Lovecom dub has something like 20 trans and non-binary actors in it. It's one of the transiest anime dubs in existence, if not the transiest trans rights. Next, Blabber boasted about having made changes to the series very canon, revealing that because they felt the character of Risa Koizumi was unsalvageable. You know what? I'm not even going to bother getting into it because ultimately we can tell exactly where this person goes and where they stand. They're going to, if this person, if you see them as a localizer on your anime, just guarantee that you're not going to get anything close to what the original story was. You're going to get an ideologically based version of it through the eyes of this person called Blabber. It really is a joke that this is what we have to deal with. This is what we have to deal with with people who are so angry with their content that they're working on that they want to put their anger through to you, the viewer, who's just trying to get an actual true translation so you can enjoy the anime as originally saw fit by the mangaka who made the manga and the actual creators of the anime themselves. But you can't even do that. You can't even sit down and enjoy it anymore because now you got to worry about whether or not it got to the hands of some absolute psychopath like blabber who's so ideologically driven they can't put their ideology to the side and just do their fucking job so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out excuse me it's ma'am it is ma'am